Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. What's going on? I found this cool model on Thingiverse and I thought about printing it. And then I thought about filming it for a time lapse. Let's do it. Go. And we're back. All right, so here it is. Look at this. See this thing? Doesn't look like much. However, with the twist here, it rises up. Look at that. It's got great scissor action. Uh huh. It's a scissor lift. Platform jack, whatever you want to call it. I printed this with ColorFab filament. It's the yellow filament. I printed it at 0.2 layer height. Took six hours or so. Here's the interesting part. It printed completely and totally one piece, fully assembled, without any supports whatsoever. I can even put it back down. Here we go. Let me go back up. There we go. You can kind of see it's it's got a it's got a, a threaded bolt through the middle, and it pulls in on this piece here, and then the scissoring lift lifts as it gets pulled closer to this side. And let's see, I just printed another one so I can show you what happens when you first take it off the printer. Just a sec. I just grabbed it off the printer. Here it is. This one, uh, it hasn't been separated yet. I can't, I can't turn this knob. So what I do, I grab an old pair of channel locks, grip it right here, and I turn it till it breaks. And that's it. See if this one works now. Point no return, right? Come on, let's see. Is it? Is it? Oh, I got a stuck piece right there. There we go. All right. So as you can tell, it's it, it, it prints all as one piece. However, uh, it's it, it the tolerances are really close. They've updated the file on Thingiverse, and I'll put a link down below, and it should print a lot better for you. However, here's what I had to go through. Unfortunately, my first attempt didn't turn out so well. As you can see, I'm in a couple pieces here. Uh, the problem is in printing it, the tolerances were too tight and pieces stuck together that were not supposed to stick together. I used a feature in Simplify 3D called Horizontal Size Adjustment that allowed me in the G-code to print things slightly smaller. I gave it a minus 0.07 millimeter horizontal size adjustment and that was enough to increase the gaps and give me the working version. Apparently now, I have two. Look at that. There we go. I know this one was short and sweet, but it had a time lapse and it had a really cool model and I told you about a great benefit to simplify 3D and the horizontal size adjustment. Let me know if there's anything you need me to print, if there's anything I need to show you, and as always, high five.